She's coming along real nice. This is the next day. I don't know, Wednesday. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, I've, I've taken my JB Weld right down here. Now, this is the overnight uh, hardener and steel. And this is the new quick weld, which takes about five minutes. So you can see the problem with the, the overnight is that it, it it flows down with gravity. So when I'm, but the rest of it's nice and really smooth all the way, all the way around except for that one tier right there. So I'm gonna take a little grinder and I'll take that off right there. And then I'll fill this hole up with the quick weld, put a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper all around here and then dab on some uh, bumper black. It'll be in great shape. Just last night, I came up with this brilliant idea. Since this radiator is held in place by this bottom rubber piece, it's also held in place by the, the, the side pipes right here where they go. And I need to like either pull up on the radiator or push down on one side to get the... Uh, to get the, the top piece to fit the fairing. I bought about three feet of this black sticky Velcro right here. And I don't care if it's sticky or anything. What I'm gonna do is I've got I've got two of these strips. One is a sticky part, one is one's a hook, one's the other. I'm gonna attach them like right here somehow with a um, a bolt that goes right in there. Then I'm going to have the the one part of the Velcro go around the back. It'll go right down through here to the. It'll go right down and it'll come right to here. So I'm going to have one one side of the sticky come here, the other side here, and I'm going to adjust the um, radiator to exactly where I want it. Plus I'm going to hold it down. And I think maybe with holding it down better in the bike that it won't shake as much and it may cool better. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. So the bottle's all ready to go. The radiator's done. All the wiring's done. The um, blinkers work. i got to hook up my speedometer cable, adjust the brakes, adjust the the uh, throttle cable. Oh, I wanted to say I got some new parts coming in. I got a what's called a gear a, a gear lock. It's this cool thing by Motion Pro. It fits in here. Keeps the flywheel from spinning. I mean the, uh, the, the starter gear from spinning. It's really neat looking. Just a little tiny piece on a string of metal with a magnet on it. Then I've got a flywheel holder coming in from the same place, real cheap stuff. On the other side, when I need to take off the uh, uh, the fan or the brake or some kind of thing like that. And then they had a, a special deal on green anodized hardware, like this color green right here, this dark green. So I got a whole kit with a whole bunch of uh, metric bolts and stuff that are green. And I hope to put them on here. I think it'd look really cool. And it was half price, so what the hell. Then the, the last thing I got was this called this uh, cable end right here. This has always bothered me because this cable on this, or this, these carburetors always come with this straight deal. I ordered like a set of 10 um, of these curved, curved ones that come up like this and they curve out. So that this won't have such a big kink in it. And I think that's going to be a great help. And maybe, just maybe, after I get back from this job interview. Easy job. Um, I, I'm going to uh, put all the paneling on it and go out for a drive. Oh, but before I do that, before I do that. We're going to have a workshop on how to put on your grip with the proper grip, the proper grip glue, and uh, how to do it. And I'm not real good at it, so 
and you only get like one shot. All right, that's next.